guys, Tegan here. Uh, so today we are going to talk about mounting UPO paper onto wood panels. First thing you'll need is your piece of art on UPO, something to spread your media matte gel with, a roller, your Liquitex media matte gel, a birch panel, and some paper towels just for cleanup. So the reason I use a media matte gel is because the thicker body makes it easier to spread around on your panel. It also dries transparent, which is great. So you don't see anything, if anything comes on the sides, which it happens if you don't sand it first, you're not gonna be able to see it. Or if you do, it's gonna be really small amount that you see. I highly suggest Liquitex just because you spend a little bit of money on a proper brand you're not gonna get any accidents coming up. Next step for us is actually putting the UPO onto the panel. Let's go. So now that we have our panel, we just wanna make sure it is nice and clean. They are mass produced, so you can't always get the best quality, but if you're not spending a fortune or making them yourselves, uh, this is the best way to go at it. So now we take our matte gel, You want at least a medium body gel just so that it is thicker. Um, the other reason you want it is that it won't soak into the board as fast, which is great. You can see little spots already that dry in and soak in. So you want it to be nice and thick so that you have time to work with it. It won't dry. And that makes everybody happy. You want to spread it nice all the way to the edges just so you can get a fairly even application for your board. The last thing you want is it to be bumpy and lumpy all over the place. It is always better to have a little more than not enough, especially with this. You do not want to find dry spots, especially in the corners that's where it's going to start lifting and that won't make anybody happy to see either the piece of art they've created start coming apart or that the art that they've purchased start falling apart. Now that I've got this all taken care of, I have my Yepo, I have my little piece for it. Um, I do spray a light layer of Kmar on it just so when I am putting the weight down on it because you will flip it you will have to flip it upside down it won't pull anything off it has happened to me in the past where clumps of metallic are a little thicker and they actually stick to whatever I am placing it upside down on now as you may have saw in another video I do trace my piece just so I kind of have a little extra room on the sides just gives you play room so you can trim it up Because the last thing you want is for it to be exactly the same size And you may have twisted it and you can kind of see the edges of the panel Which you don't want now that this is just placed on it. I will take my roller And start spreading it. This is also another reason that having Kmart spray is nice just because I don't have to worry about protecting my piece from my roller. All right, now that it's been rolled out, we're gonna flip it. And my other little trick that I like to use to prevent anything from sticking is parchment paper. Now that it's flipped over, I take my spreader, I take it along the edges, clean up all that extra. And because there is so much, that usually means that it should spread nicely.
Now that that's all taken care of, I'm gonna take my station, I'm gonna put it on top as a weight, and we'll leave it for about two hours. Now that the weight has been on for an appropriate amount of time, we're gonna take the weight off, and we'll take a look at the piece. Looks pretty good. Got a little bit of the gel on there, and it happens. If I get a little bit of the gel on the piece, I'll take some alcohol. Hi. Now, if you do use the alcohol to get off some of the gel, uh, sometimes it will roll off the Kmar. If it's in a negative area, then it won't matter. Otherwise, I did get some like this. So I will have to wait a little later to scrape it off, but it's not that big a deal. So for now, let us get to trimming it up. Now that we're ready to trim, we're gonna take our piece, lay it to face down on our cutting surface. I have a cutting board. We just take our cutting blade, run it along the edges, nice and smooth. It does not have to go through in one pass, so do not panic if you feel like it had to. It will just come off on its own. And there you have it. We mounted some Yepo to a birch panel. It came out great. So the key points in that are just remember to get a matte gel with at least a medium body or heavier, a cutting knife, a cutting surface, a flat surface for you to work on, a weight, something to spread your gel with, and of course your piece of art and a birch panel. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me a message or please put it in the comments. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. I am always trying to post as much as I possibly can on there and look for feedback about maybe another video. And I'll see you guys there. Take care.